Hello, Acolyte people. Welcome to the party. Today we're starting the Acolyte show. I'm going to be watching with Wampa named Bantha. It's been a while since we had a Star Wars show. The last Star Wars show was the Ahsoka series, which feels like it was so long ago. So looking forward to a new Star Wars show. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully I like it. I thought the trailer looked very high quality production. So without further ado, let's jump in. I gotta pause to read. A hundred years before the rise of the Empire, it is a time of peace. The Jedi Order and the Galactic Republic prospered for centuries without war. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> it's not Star Wars, it's just stars. I remember this from the trailer. Where's your Jedi? The color scheme is giving me Fallen Order vibes for some reason, which I like. Wow, getting right into the trailer. Yes, my child? We have unfinished business. Jedi do not attack the unarmed. Yes, you do. So she's got qualms with the Jedi, it seems. A Jedi doesn't pull her weapon unless prepared to kill. What? Since when is that a rule? That's not a rule. Oh, wow. What? Well, from a narrative perspective, that was a good way to start the show because it set the stakes high. Like, if this whole show is about a Jedi assassin, having the death of a Jedi so early on in the show really sets the precedent of how dangerous this person is and how serious she is about her mission to kill Jedi. So, it's sad to see that this brand new character is already dead, but from a story perspective, really good choice, I think. But it also... <laughs> It also sets the show on a pretty dark path from the get-go. This is probably not the most family-friendly Star Wars show. It's probably going to be a little bit violent, kind of like Andor. So definitely not the kids' Jedi show. That looks like Sid from Ice Age. Oh, baby Sid. Her hair is short, so this is in the past, right? Her hair is short suddenly. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Pep. It's like a BD1. Oh, it's like a small BD1. Look at the gonk droid. So funny. Good job. Why didn't you come out last night? You missed a wild trip to Nashadal with the piloting crew? Yeah. Yeah. What I do with my days off is none of your business, fellow. The Fallen Order vibes in that scene are strong. <laughs> my name is Yord Fandar, Knight of the Jedi Order, and this is my Padawan, Tosiloa. We are looking for a former Jedi by the name of Osha Anaseya. So she is a former Jedi. We just wanted to pay your old friend a visit. What's going on, Yord? Oh, does she have a twin or something? I think it's best you take a seat. Evil twin. You lost your entire family. Your mother's, your sister. Not her sister. It doesn't matter what I think. Or they have to arrest her. Coruscant? What's Coruscant? the little kiddos from the trailer. But that is our lesson for another day. Time for lunch. <laughs> All I can think about when I see that alien is that meme that's like, close your eyes. I can't! <laughs> that was funny. I really like his getup with the yellow tunic and the white robe. Looks cool. We have a suspect in custody. An old Padawan of yours. It was his Padawan. I see I have underestimated your attachment to her. Oh, I mean, yeah, dude. The oh, connection between Master and Padawan is intense. These 
kids are taken away from their families and they still need a mother figure or a father figure so they attach to their master like a child with their parent you know so yeah obviously they were close <laughs> we're planning an escape you win i have faith in the jedi uh, enjoy prison <laughs> oh, <go. laughs> can you give me a hand bye bye jedi killers so they're gonna leave her behind because she didn't she didn't want to escape with them so if she had said yes like a minute ago they would have helped her out oh my gosh even her outfit is giving me cal kestis vibes mm. oh no is that the last escape pod oh dear I sensed her darkness. Beware. Quiet your mind and tell me what happened to the young woman. She helped me and I betrayed her and took the last escape pod. He was just about to lie for no reason. <laughs> okay, dude. I request permission to go to Kalak and bring Osha in myself. It is highly unlikely she survived. She is alive. I can sense it. I can feel it. Close enough. <laughs> we need a backup. Oh, they're in brown robes now. What's wrong with you? Nothing. No, he's Yord. Does she like Yord? Master Soul, uh, we leave in five minutes. Is he steaming his shirt? I will redeem myself. Yord, pay your clothes up. Seriously, dude. Where's your shirt? You can tell he's flexing his muscles so hard. Me? Hello, sister. See, it's her sister. Her sister has mind control, I guess. Did you kill Indara? Yes. I will kill them all. I'm creepy. So her evil twin sister is the acolyte. You wouldn't believe who I just saw. Cool Star Wars transition. <laughs> Those are fun. I was posted on her home planet, Brandok. I was there when her sister started a fire that killed her entire family. She had a sister? Yes. She had a twin. Well, there you go. I didn't know Osha. His first thought when he's like, well, it wasn't Osha. His first thought should have been, oh, her twin survived. Not very good detective, the Jedi, at this time. May is dead. I saw her die. Hmm. Something about igniting a lightsaber just to be able to see while walking through a cave also gives me just such strong Jedi Fallen Order vibes. This show has very strong video game vibes. I don't know. Does anyone else feel that way? Or do I just see Jedi Fallen Order and everything Star Wars now? I didn't do it. Believe me. I didn't. I don't see why falling off a cliff helps your case. I believe you. See, I knew you would. This is like his daughter. You need to come with us. Of course he's going to side with her. Let's go. The Jedi live in a dream. A dream they believe everyone shares. Who is this? If you attack a Jedi with a weapon, you will fail. An acolyte kills the dream. Who is this? Ah. <laughs> he presented the real villain as a hook at the very end of the episode very clever because now i want to watch episode two i guess that was pretty good i don't know it felt very cinematic honestly more than cinematic it felt very video game like i said this a lot during the episode and i could have said it there was times i thought it that i didn't say it at lux so i'm like okay that's gonna get annoying but it really does feel like jedi fallen order at times <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, no, that was good. I don't know if it's just my screen or what, but it looked very fuzzy. I don't know if it was like a stylistic choice because this takes place a thousand years before current Star Wars. It's maybe not meant to look as crispy. Maybe that's supposed to convey a sense of this being old or maybe my internet sucks and it's just fuzzy for me or maybe it's just that a lot of the scenes were foggy. It was very foggy in the opening scene fight at the bar and then it was very foggy in the ship after it crashed and it was very foggy in the snow. It was just there was a lot of fog but uh yeah on to episode two. Let me know what you thought of episode one in the comments below. I'll start an Acolyte reaction playlist here. Thank you guys so much for liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, God bless and I'll see you soon. <laughs>